Hi guys, welcome back. Today I would like to talk a little bit more about hiking with this small dog and five things to keep in mind. I've had a request about this video several times and although hiking with a small dog is actually nothing else than hiking with a larger dog, I would like to mention five things that you can keep in mind when you're hiking with this small dog. And number one, adjust the length of your hike. Although small dogs are very well capable of doing longer hikes, it's always important to adjust the length of your hike, especially when you start hiking. Know that you have to build it up, getting him used to the trail, the energy that a trail costs, um, the other, other things to keep in mind when you're going on a trail, because that takes a lot of energy from your dog. So it's very good to adjust the length of your hike so that hiking with a small dog also stays fun for your dog. It remains fun and he or she is just having as much fun as you are. Number two, be aware of the terrain you're hiking in. Although Ravi is a dog that loves to climb over rocks, jumps over stones, uh, crosses bridges, uh, hikes through water, no problem at all, he actually likes it. But be aware of the terrain when you're hiking with a small dog because you've got stones and you've got stones. You know, stones like that high, no problem at all for smaller dogs. But when you are hiking in a terrain which has really big boulders, well, keep in mind and think about the fact if your dog is going to be capable to jump over these uh, boulders, to jump up them and to pass them. And if there are several of them, is that doable for your dog? Of course, they've got shorter legs, smaller paws, so less grippy. So that is very important. And of course, you can always use a special harness, which has a handle on the back so you can help your dog to get over a big boulder. But those are things to keep in mind. For example, boulders, bridges, um, Let's take a look at the terrain you're going to hike in. See if your dog knows that, is familiar with that. And if your dog isn't, just take a little bit of training on it. Go to an area with, for example, boulders, bridges, stream crosses, and just start training each and every segment on its own. And when your dog is known with each and every one of them, then you can combine them in longer hikes or just day hikes. And then it will be no problem at all for your dog. Number three is also that a small dog needs training. And I see it a lot on the trail, and not only on the trail, but also when we're just hiking through the village here, that people who are having smaller dogs are not always aware of the fact that they should train their dog as well. They, they think that it is fine, and they bark at everything and everybody, and that they just roam around, go into other people's gardens. When you're on the trail, that they run towards other people, running around their feet, and yeah, just being in the way. And, a lot of times they say, oh, they don't do anything and they just laugh it away. But in my opinion, it is so important and maybe even more important than with a big friendly dog to um, give your small dog a proper training, especially when you're going to take your dog out on the trail. In my opinion, it's very important that every dog should behave, whether it's a Chihuahua or it is a Bernese Mountain Dog. I don't care. In my opinion, they all need training. And you, as an owner of a small dog, should be aware of that as well. And some people say you can't train a small dog. Well, you can. It maybe it will cost some extra time. But take, for example, Max. Max has even done uh, dog dance tournaments. And uh, she wasn't bad at it at all. And people were always laughing and saying, you can't train a dog like uh, a Westie for dog dance. But she did absolutely well. And yes, it took me some extra time. And it cost maybe um, a lot of more effort to get something done with a smaller dog. Because, for example, those terriers, yes, they are a little bit more stubborn. But that doesn't mean that you cannot train them. So make sure that also your small dog knows how to behave and that they stay welcome on the train as well. And people like them. I often get told by people when I'm hiking with Ravi that he's so cute, that he's so well behaved. And that's not something that I would like to say, well, oh, I'm so proud of that. And yes, I've done that very well. But it's a nice thing when people say that because when your dog is a bastard on the trail, you're not feeling good as well. At least I'm not. Number four. Yes, a small dog is also absolutely capable of doing longer or long distance hikes. And although I said in my number one that it is important to adjust the length of your hike, if you're doing a proper training, 
they are really well capable of doing it. Ravi, for example, does 20 kilometer hikes without any problems. But that is because of the decent training that I gave him. I didn't start too early. I started building it up by the age that he was one year old. And now it's not a problem at all for him. When we are hiking 20 kilometers, after that, he's looking like me. And he's looking like, well, are we going for another round? He is not uh, tired at all and of course when we are at camp at night he takes his rest and he is tired but he's absolutely capable of doing it and the next day isn't a problem to go hiking again. So if you build it up properly your dog is absolutely capable of doing long distance hikes. Ravi for example is capable of doing a week long hike without any problems and we are still building up the training although we get six years old next week that doesn't mean that we don't train anymore we keep on training we keep on adjusting the length of our hikes and so we can keep on going making longer and longer and longer hikes and maybe eventually even doing a long distance hike for maybe several weeks months who knows at number five although your dog is small let your dog be a dog I see it a lot of times, maybe not on the trail, but those small dogs that are put in little carriers, little bags and taken with their owners on that way. No, your dog has four paws and unless he is injured, uh, very old or sick, your dog is absolutely capable of doing the things by himself. Let your dog be a dog. Let him sniff around. Let him play around. Let him or her explore the trail by himself. It absolutely is so much fun for them and it really adds something to the hike as well. Instead of only walking close to your foot, just barely a touch to your knee and not allowed to do anything. No, let them explore the things and let them walk by themselves. If you train properly, they are really capable of doing that themselves. So don't treat them as they are a toy because they are small they are a dog let them be a dog and also they will have a fabulous time on the trail so those were five things in my opinion are very important to keep in mind when you're hiking with a small dog if there is anything else that you think that's important to keep in mind as well put it in the comment box below because it might be helpful to somebody else who's watching this video i hope this video was helpful to you as well and uh, for now as always i would like to say enjoy the outdoors and we'll catch you on the next trail. Goodbye.